And with a recording and performing career spanning 20 years, his latest brainchild, Play On, has set a selection of Shakespeare's most loved soliloquies to music featuring a stunning array of Kiwi talent. Now released as an album and on tour across the country, please welcome to Tell Us More composer, singer, songwriter, Paul McClaney. Yes. <laughs> welcome, Paul. Thank you. Um, a real pleasure to have you here. Firstly, congratulations on a wonderful collection of work. Um, so, so how did it come about? Uh, well, I was touring an album. It's ten years in the in the making, really. So it's a bit of a labour of love. It was a quick job then. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're an overnight success. <laughs> um, no, I was on tour, and uh, Ian Mune was in the audience one night, and we got talking after the show over a glass of wine, or two, and um, he asked me if I'd ever set any Shakespeare, and um, I think he was referring to the songs, and then and I wasn't really that you know into the idea or whatever. But um, then we spoke about the sonnets, which a lot of people have done, and most recently Paul Kelly and Rufus Wainwright have. Yes both on those but um we got into the conversation about the soliloquies or the speeches and um apparently in 400 years no one's ever set one of these to music so that piqued my interest and so over the course of the next few um years i set about just every now and again doing one and then um when the pop-up globe popped up it seemed like the perfect opportunity to um baptize them into that mm. space yeah so well I'll tell you what we've actually got a clip of uh, one of those performances at the pop-up so let's take a look at this That's a beautiful voice of Maisie Rekha, isn't it? And yes. the fact is, that's one's in Tereo. Yes, um, uh, um, Tiha, Mihia, Tiha Mihia to Mason um, transcribed that into a Tereo a few years ago. And um, when we were doing this project, I thought it'd be really great to, um, well, you know, this, this Shakespeare's 11,000 miles away and uh, 400 years ago. Mm. So, so to do something that is from this side of the world to send it back, I thought was, would be mm. the, the, wow. the right thing to do. And look, you've got some incredible performance. We've just seen one there, but who else is going on the road with this? Uh, Rio Hall, Macy, uh, Mara TK, Lawton Cora, Fran Cora, um, Julia Deans. Um, oh, you've got the who's who's of incredible yes. voices. Oh, and we have Esther Stevens on the album as well. Which oh, is, um, she's incredible too, isn't she? She's amazing, amazing singer. Um, have you changed anything from the pop-up globe version to the album version? Um, we swapped a few songs around. I'm going to sing a couple more than I did the first time round, um, which is one of the ones I'm playing um, today. Um, and uh, Ria is stepping in for Esther. Um, she's doing that bloody woman at the moment. So, no, she's too. Yeah, yeah, which is going great guns, which is fantastic for her. And this is a great time too, because you know Shakespeare is slowly getting taken out of schools, isn't it? They find it too hard. So this is a great well, way yeah, to the, bridge it. Yeah, the background of this was against that conversation with Ian. I think the reason Shakespeare came up was that um, at that time, and I think it's an ongoing thing, they've been pulling Shakespeare off the syllabus right. so, because kids are finding it too hard. And I think we'll get rid of calculus then, because calculus is way yeah, harder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, there's a great um, speech I read by a guy called Dr. Rowan Williams, and he said that the um, the habits of bad language are the habits of war making, you know, because if you don't, if you can't communicate, then it's going to go straight into mm. conflict. So, you know, and, and for me, Shakespeare is like the Beatles or Led Zeppelin. It's like, you know, it's like the Godhead and everything falls through that. And I think once you find, like I remember studying Shakespeare at school, we sh studied Macbeth, and once you actually get it and you click into that sort of language, you feel mm. it's quite exciting to understand what's going on. I had a wonderful um, English teacher, um, I had a series of wonderful English teachers, but one, we're playing in Taranaki this evening, um, Mr. Mac, Mr. McNenaman, and he used to read it and burst into tears, and he'd go, oh, it's so good. And then you'd be going, why is it so good? And, you, and you'd, you know, it was such a, his investment, and in it made me want to invest mm. in it, yeah. Well, it's such an incredible marriage, I guess, of so many mm. different things within arts, which is why you should go and see it. It's going on tour, so we're about to see you heading with this. Taranaki this evening on the 25th, um, next week in um, Christchurch. Yes. Um, the two shows in Auckland in September, and then Nelson to finish it off. Oh, brilliant. Oh, excellent. Nice. Really looking forward to your mm. performance a little bit later on, too. Thank you. Now, Play On is out now, and for more details on any of the live show performances, go to the website loop.co.nz. <laughs> The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon with the spectacles on nose and patch on side. His youthful hopes well saved a world too wide for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice turning again. To watch childish travel Pipes and whistles in his soundless scene of old 
that ends this strange, eventful history. A second childishness and mere oblivion. Sun's teeth, sun's eyes, sun's taste, sun's everything. 